The big story that we are getting at this hour, the Reserve Bank of India has taken a new decision to actually allow retail investors to directly buy and sell government bonds. So far, retail investors did not have direct access to government bonds and had to go through stock exchanges or brokers. However, that is all set to change now. This platform, which retail investors can use to buy government bonds, will be directly under the Reserve Bank of India. Detailed guidelines for this will be announced soon. Okay, Avni Raja joining me now to help us understand this new decision. So, Avni, if you can put things in context for us, what does it mean and why did the central bank at this stage decide to take a step like this? Well, that's right. Uh, this is an extremely big move and uh, quite an important move, especially when it comes to uh, retail investors and uh, for them to access government bonds. So till now, uh, it wasn't that easy for retail investors to buy and sell government bonds. They had to either go through stock exchanges or intermediaries or like brokers. Uh, now what the Reserve Bank of India has done has said that we will create a special platform which will be under the Reserve Bank of India itself and investors can open their guilt accounts uh, with that platform and uh, then they will be able to directly access uh, government bonds so they can buy, they can sell government bonds. This, of course, is uh, yet another way for the Reserve Bank to actually uh, borrow money directly from the retail investor. Because remember, what are these government bonds? These bonds are essentially uh, the investors who are lending money or putting money with the Reserve Bank of India. And the Reserve Bank of India uh, will be borrowing that money and giving the investors an interest uh, on that amount. So from a perspective of investments, it's an extremely safe avenue government bonds are one of the safest avenues for people to really invest and put their money in. And now, of course, this is a big move because uh, there are very few countries who actually uh, allow this to happen. And India has also now become the first Asian country uh, to take this step. Uh, so from that perspective also, it is an extremely important move uh, as well. And it will enable more retail participation uh, from the retail investors, from the so small investors as well uh, in, in this way, Afrida. Absolutely. So for small investors, again, this will be an important step. And like you said, this is a very significant development that the Reserve Bank of India has taken.